So if you adopt a fiscal tax year, you must maintain your books and records and report your income using expenses using the same tax year. So your books should match up on how you're doing your books to what is being reported on the tax return. Otherwise, it looks like you're doing something funny just for tax reasons you know, that doesn't line up with your books side of things. You would think that if you had a, a year other than the calendar year that you're doing that because you have a natural business year end in your business that doesn't coincide with the end of the year. So that would mean that you would think that your books would be done that way as well. If your books aren't done that way, I believe the rationale of the tax code is to say, well, you must be choosing this other tax year for some weird reason uh, that, that doesn't make sense. It's not the reason that we want to give the ability to do that for. So for more information on a fiscal tax year, including a 52-53 week tax year, you can see publication 538, a change in tax year. So generally, you must file form 1128 application to adopt, change, or retain a tax year to request IRS approval to change your tax year. See the instructions for form 1128 for exceptions. So I've seen situations where people get into trouble that they filed something incorrectly or not the way they wanted to do it in the first year. And then they have to go through this process of getting acceptance or approval to change something such as like with a tax year here. And that's not the position that you would like to be in because then that could take some time to do and put you in that limbo zone, stress you out. So get it right on the first tax return. So if you qualify for an automatic approval request, a user fee is not required. If you do not qualify for automatic approval, a ruling must be requested. See the instructions for Form 1128 for information about user fees if you are requesting a ruling.